right, we're checking out the only game we're breaking through layers. Also breaks my sanity, it's GTA. How many layers can the different vehicles in GTA break through, and which one is the layer-breaking king? Now, in order to understand our baseline here, we have to start with something stupid. In the end, we have two minutes and 20 seconds to beat 29 layers, and every next layer gets harder. I can't even see over this wall, so I really don't know what the first layer is. The first layer is sandcastles. Okay. Uh, not too hard to break through. Next layer is the kind of like wooden barriers here. No big deal. The bandito can get through those as well, except they're also trying to RKO me off of the entire platform. Then we have the stop barriers. Okay. The bandito's doing way better than I thought it would. For being like a stupid meme car, I can't believe it's gotten to the metal logger beer signs here. Now these have some weight. So this is kind of starting to stop the vehicle. Now we have traffic cones. Me and traffic cones don't get along at all. The traffic cones are constantly trying to insert themselves into orifices that they are not meant to go. Ah, boxes. One of my personal favorite. Very satisfying to break. I don't even know if this thing can break it though. Oh. Oh, each box is its own little movable object. That's kind of neat. I wonder if I could just kind of poke a hole through here like a mouse having a, oh God. Well, I've been entrapped by the box fort. What is the problem? I'm having trouble getting out. Come on, baby. Come on. How many horsepower is this thing? Well, I guess it's not really horsepower. How many, like, nine volt power is this thing? All right, hold on. We're going to get some speed and rock this. Urgh. I'm not giving up until I get through this barrier with this car. I know it can do it. Wow, it can break a box. I didn't think it could break a box. Oh, and I've been told there's another special rule to this. If the car blows up or breaks and doesn't work anymore, we can no longer use it. I told you, with enough patience, we're 100% caught. <laughs> there goes my escape route. We're 100% gonna get through this. It took a lot, but it did it. So now we have barrels. Huh, got through the barrels easier than it did the, uh, the cardboard boxes. So now we have metal barrels. Did you like legitimately find every single singularly dynamic prop in all of GTA. <laughs> now we have the water-filled barrels. Okay, these are way heavier. This thing can barely move them. All right, yeah, these barrels are where the bandito completely stops. I would never be able to get through this in time in two minutes and 20 seconds. It'll take me two minutes just to move these barrels. Oh, you wanna see something fun, by the way? Here's a way to move a bunch of barrels at once. Yeah. <laughs> With your own human body. Ah, yes, nothing like leaving a pathway of strawberry jam. Also, they took it, they've taken all of my weapons from me. All I have is a baseball bat. I, I, I don't know if this will do any better. I will say the Fly US Mobile did surprisingly well in other challenges. So you never know. Can I break these with a baseball bat? Oh. Huh. I didn't know that you just... You can break them with, with a baseball bat. For some reason, they stop a vehicle, but if I walk through them, it's like there's nothing there. It's like I'm just walking through air. Yeah, see, look, the vehicle struggles. And that's what happens when you don't skip leg day, kids. What in... What in God's name? Hey! No shooting each other while the challenge is going. Jesus. All right, so the, the barriers are fine, although it kind of gets stuck on the front. Of the, you know what? I'm taking this thing with me. Uh, never mind. Now it fell, and now it's just a hindrance through the stop sticks. Ugh. I, wow. I think just walk through them. Lager beer. I wanted to see if I can knock a lager beer sign over. I'm like the, the extra special car to test. And indeed, I can knock over a lager beer. Now, can the vehicle do it? Yes, the vehicle can also do it. Ah, traffic cones. We meet again. You have caused me no limit of heartache in previous challenges. And today you shall be slain with this baseball. Huh. Well, that's weird. I didn't know that. So you can walk through a sandcastle, but you can't walk through traffic cones. Weird. All right. Can this go through it? Yep. No problem. I think this is going to get through the boxes. I think it's going to blow through. You ready? Again, though, I had to test to see if I can get through the boxes. Well, I do move them a little bit, and the baseball bat moves them a little bit, too. Here we go! Yeah! Big blast through the boxes. All right, now the wooden barrels. Blast through the wooden barrels. All right, now the metal barrels. Again, this shouldn't be any problem. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Fly US thing is great. All right, now these are where the bandito stopped. But the water barrels can be broken by this. 
I will say though, the front of this thing is looking pretty, pretty beat. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could beat up these these buckets with the baseball bat. It beats up the buckets very well. Unfortunately though, there's no way for that thing to get through this course in two minutes and 20 seconds. Now, <laughs> listen. This thing has done well in the past. It looks stupid. You think it's gonna do terrible, but it's got some real speed to it. Bam, right through the sand castles. No big deal. Now through the barriers. Bam, look at that, blast through. Ah, oh, yeah, locker beer, bam. Okay, now, now we've got a legitimate time going on here. Here we go. Yeah, this is good. We're like under 30 seconds so far. Wooden barrels, boom. Oh God. Metal barrels it kind of starts getting caught underneath the uh, the wheels. Yeah, see how the wheels going absolutely crazy because <laughs> the the barrels are trying to trip me up. It's like a lion trying to murder a gazelle. Don't eat me, barrels. Ugh. Well, it did get through the water. Bowling pins. Okay. Ugh. I wanted to hit it straight on. Like this thing could almost fit in the little opening between the uh, the pins. So now we have poppers, okay. I wanna kill both poppers just because I love it when they pop. Now we have glass. Ow! Oh God, ow. Why do you always have to land with the engine on my head? What in God's name are you doing? Hey, hey, look, take this seriously. We got two minutes and 20 seconds. No, stop dancing off the edge, stop that. Stop break dancing. Well. I do believe that my quad is possessed by the devil. <laughs> there we go. And that's how you get rid of the devil. You exercise demons the same way you exercise everything. With violence. Oh, pumpkins. Hey. I was wondering how much stupider these, these layers could get and I am very satisfied. So I can't punch a pumpkin. I can bruise a pumpkin, but I can't break it. That doesn't seem very legitimate. I mean, I feel like a baseball bat would indeed be able to murder a pumpkin. I do want maximum speed for this because I think the pump, the pumpkins like blow up when you hit them. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I love running over pumpkin chunks. Oh yeah, cover me in your delicious pumpkin juice. Uh. Also, if you notice the next thing is literal logs. Just logs. Uh, got him in a clothesline. Oh! <laughs> Dead stop. I think we found the quads match. Mercedes. All right, Mercedes. Put your money where your fender is. All right. Wow, the sand What is with the sand castles? Why do they do so much damage? It's just too weird because I can just walk through them. All right, now look at this. Look at this. Bam. Boom! Oh yeah, sandcastles did more damage to this car than- Ow! I was gonna say, the sandcastles did more damage to this car than anything else up to this point. The, oh, well, there goes the hood. The only thing that has, I would, I would say the same amount of force as the sandcastles were the metal barrels. All right, bowling pins. Now we have the poppers. Wow, look at the damage this thing is taking. This is also the first time that we have gotten to see the layers just drop down tons of damage to the vehicles. Glass. There we go. All right, pumpkins. Help a brother out. Yeah. Get some of those pumpkins over in the wheel well. Okay, so the Mercedes can break through the logs. It ain't easy and it hurts a lot, but it can push through. All right, so eventually it did make it through the log. So now we have the ammunition sign. Okay, so it's like plywood. And it can get through this too, just takes some doing. The car is starting to smoke a lot. So now we have wooden fencing. Oh God. Okay, now we have bigger wooden fencing. Okay, the wooden fencing does a lot of damage to the vehicles. Now we have really thick wooden fencing. Come on, don't give up on me. Yes. Ah, the door's opened up. The car is trying to leave. It's like, let me go, please. Wooden pallets. Oh my God, the car is now on fire. Hold on, come on, baby. Come on, just a little bit further. Get through the wood. Oh my God, I got bailed out just in time. I wanted to see if I could shove it through the wooden boxes and I broke one of them. This should do some damage. Rally. Oh, it's an electric rally car. Neat, how plaid. The inside of this thing is like snakeskin in Canada. It's awesome. Uh. 
That is so weird how hard it is to get through the sandcastles. All right, so going. Good. Yeah. Good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, almost caught some air there. Oh, yeah, this is even better. This is even better than the Mercedes so far. Water barrels. Uh-huh. some air there. Bowling. Steve. Oh, I guess that was a split. <laughs> I was going to try and get a strike. The poppers. Oh, my God. Whoa, don't mind me. Just doing some uh, some disco dancing on the hood there. Oh, never mind. There goes the hood. All right, glass. Oh, it punched through the glass pretty easy. Oh, pumpkins. Yes. Logs. Ooh, you know what? I don't think this thing has enough weight. The logs kind of stop this thing a lot more than they stop the Mercedes. Yeah, 34 miles an hour. That's a lie. Oh, I just ate a bunch of glass. Come on. Well, all right. I guess that's one way to do it. Ammunition. Bam. Oh, broke through the ammunition sign. Very good. Now, how about all the fencing? Fencing number one. Not bad. Fencing number two. Okay. Fencing number three. This one stopped the Mercedes. Yeah. This is right about where it was uh, getting to the point where it was going to start flaming, too. But we're not on fire yet. Still working. Pallets. Big wooden boxes. Oh, is this going to do better than the Oh my god, it wiped them all out in one shot. What happened? That was... All right, whatever. So this has now officially gotten farther than the Mercedes. Now we have multiple plywood walls. And there we go. Again, I don't think that this could do it in 2 minutes and 20 seconds, but it has gotten the furthest easily. Can I go under this? Oh, what does it take to break this thing? I had no idea this was so strong. There we go. Ugh. No joke. This fence is ridiculous. Let's use something that looks like it was made for destruction. This thing's got saw blades on it. It's got obliterators, like extra grindy guys on the front. It's awesome. Look at that. Look at that right there. Through all of the sandcastles. The only problem is the, uh, the traction on this thing is absolute garbage. Wow, it really sends... It really sends signs flying out of the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Ah. Oh. Ah! Oh, the blades on the front are great. Oh, I caught the uh, barrel. <laughs> that was kind of interesting. The poppers should pop really easy, too, because it's saw blades. Oh, I was wrong. Well, I guess you could also saw blade it from the back, see? Saw blade it from the back. There we go. Glass. All right, time to make some pumpkin uh, shakes here. I, I kind of want to go slow to see if... Yeah. I was curious if the saw blades would massacre the... Whoa! <laughs> That's the first pumpkin in space. Hey, ho! This thing's kicking field goals with pumpkins. It's good! Oh, I'm stuck on the pumpkins. There we go. All right, logs. Ah... Uh... Now well, the logs have been a, a trouble the whole time. We're gonna roll this thing back from here. What the? Where the? What happened? All right, I'm not gonna ask any questions. I feel like, I feel like the logs just didn't want to get cut, and so they left the board. I don't know if you. I mean, those logs were there when we left, and now they're gone. So the fences. Okay, going through the fences real good. This is the first fence that manages to stop all the vehicles. Still, though, pretty easy to get through. Now we have the wooden pallets. Huh, full stop on the wooden pallet. Nothing quite like getting backhanded by pallets from Costco. Wonderful. I wish the spikes on the side of the vehicle did something. All right, so breaking up the boxes. That was done first shot. Now we have the plywood boards. A little difficult but right now a couple of hits and we can get through this as well now we have the first thing that stopped the last car yeah man this fence is crazy come on don't tell me i'm not gonna be able to get through this fence come on there we go big damage excellent first car that made it through the fence so now we have <laughs> what gray 1981 to 2069. I wasn't born in 1981. People be watching too much Google. I know it says I was born in 1981. I think it also says I'm 10,000 feet tall or something like that. All right, no joke. These uh, these tombstones are like super heavy. My God. Oh no, I knocked it over, but I don't know if I can get over it. Ah, uh, uh, All right, Yetus. 
I think this is kind of where this vehicle is going to end up stopping. Time to get legit. All right, fist blaster. This thing's got giant tires. This thing's got a fist on the front. This thing is plowing through everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a monster. Oh, it's awesome. Through the barrels like there's nothing there. Through the metal barrels. Didn't even have any weight. Through the water barrels. Through the... Oh, my God. Whoa. Hey. Okay. Through the bowling pins. Through the poppers. Oh, the poppers took... Uh, kind of it stopped the vehicle there. The glass stopped it, too. Oh, pumpkins. I've waited for this moment. Bam. Yeah. Through the lugs. Uh, okay. This is the first vehicle that can straight up push the logs. That's pretty cool. Ammunition sign, first try. This is our first legitimate vehicle that's looking like it can do it in two minutes and 30 seconds. Right here. Ah! Ow! I'd like to take a moment to mention I did not leave a single blood stain on the ground. How about that? All right, through the pallets. They have let me keep the boost too, which is pretty sweet. Through the boxes, through the ply. Whoa, hey. All right, it does take some doing, but it can get through it. There we go. All right, now this fence. Yep, look at that. Bounced right off it. All right, come on now. There we go. Here we go. Okay. It can push over the tombstone. It can move it. Now, can it get through all of them? Come on. I think it'll climb over it now. Yeah, there we go. So now a shipping container. I feel like this is going to... Yeah. I was going to say, I feel like that could move the shipping container very easily. So now we have a trailer. Okay, the trailer does move. Uh, it is kind of heavy. If I go to one side, I can kind of lean this thing so I can get past it. Come on. Whoa. There we go. Timber. <laughs> now hay bales. Okay. Like a tractor of hay bales or a, a, a trailer of hay bales. Whoa, my God. What is happening? Hey. The trailer is pretty heavy. I'm not going to lie. So now just hay bales by the... <laughs> are you kidding me? What are these hay bales made out of? Dark matter? They're hay. I mean, I know hay isn't weightless, but God. All right, so it can get through the hay bales. Uh, it's not easy at all. There we go. Now, an actual freight train. Okay. Oh, this is heavy. Oh my God. A few hours later. Okay. I think we found this thing's match. All aboard the tank. This thing has a scoop on the front too. Assuming it can go fast enough, this thing should just eat up this course. All right, through the sand castles, which oddly are probably deserve to be in the in like the late teens or early twenties of difficulty. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Looking good so far. Oh, the plow is fantastic. Oh yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh, God. Okay, don't want to fall off of the challenge. All right, through the metal barrels. Doing great. Through the water barrels. Looking strong. Making good time. Through the pins. Oh, wow. This thing has a lot of weight. Like, it went through the pins like it was nothing. Through the glass. Okay. All of you pumpkins are coming with me. Ugh. That was probably the most satisfying blast through the pumpkins we've had. Also... The tree is very easy. Oh, the tank is the best. Right here. Fences don't stand a chance. Look at that. Fence number one. Now, is it going to be able to get through the, like, cow fence in one shot? That's the real question. Pallets. Boxes. Flyboard is easy. All right. Here's that fence. Here we go. What? Man, it's still... I still haven't found a vehicle that can break through this in one shot. It can get through it, but man, it takes some effort. There we go. Now through the tombstones. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. The shipping container should pose no problem. Blast through that. Now for the trailer. Wow. Oh, it just murdered that trailer. It sent it off the entire challenge. All right. The hay trailer. Uh, yes. 
All right, now the other test. How hard is it to get through the hay bales? Uh, it can legitimately just push the hay bales from a from a stop. That's impressive. So now the freight train right through it. And then the final barrier here lays gray. An entire sarcophagus with me in it. Also, we were not able to do this in two minutes and 20 seconds. Thanks a lot, buddy. Okay, so just checking. I wanted to see if I could move this from a stop. It cannot move this. I'm like starting to get speed and run into this and they're not moving. I haven't moved this thing. I, I would say maybe half an inch. I'm not even sure this thing is dynamic. We have come up against something that I, I don't even know how I'm going to get through it. And so there's only a few choices with which to choose that could potentially do it. And one of those choices is the Phantom Wedge. Time to wreck some stuff. All right, Phantom Wedge, show me why they call you the... Show me why they call you the wedge. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. We're going to blow through it. The sarcophagus is done. Look at this. The bowling pins, the poppers. Nothing can stop the... Well, apparently, glass can stop the wedge. Just like a classic Bugs Bunny pane of glass that two guys are walking across the street carrying. Well, the pumpkins kind of slowed down the wedge, too. That was weird. Uh, the logs do nothing. Don't stop the wedge at all. Ammunition sign slows it down slightly. So now we're going to find out about the fencing. All this fencing, no big deal. Pallets, probably no big deal. There you go. Boxes, a boom. Huh. That was the first time it broke, like, a piece of the box instead of the whole chunk of boxes. And... Oh, yeah, it can, just, it can literally just plow through this. There we go. Now the fence. Oh, my God. It just backhanded the Phantom Wedge backwards. Look at that. That is crazy. Come on, don't give up. You didn't come all this way. There we go. It is easier to get past these tombstones than it was to get through that fence. That's insane. Train. Yeah. And now, okay, so these can be moved, but man, it ain't easy. I think you know what time it is. It's time for the insurgent. Yeah, as you can imagine, the insurgent takes no prisoners at all. It just blows through everything like it's nothing. Water jugs, don't care. Bowling pins, non-existent. Poppers do stop it, but I mean, you know, only for a second. The glass bl just busts through it. Pumpkins, it loves eating pumpkins, high in vitamins and fiber. Trees, hates trees. Look at that right there, very anti-environment. Ammunition sign, one shot. Through all the fences, now you knew that the insurgent was just gonna come in here and basically wreck everything, right? Look at that. Oh, I really thought the Phantom Wedge was gonna do it in one shot. I had no idea the Phantom Wedge would have so much problem with the sarcophagus. So now the... Huh. That was weird. That was like another instance where that prop broke into tiny pieces instead of, in, you know, in all one shot at one time. There we go, the fly board. How about this fence? How's it do against this? Okay. So this is the first car to break this fence on the first hit. It takes a little extra effort to get through, but it can do it. Tombstones. All right, the bit. Oh, nice. Okay. So we could just plow through the tombstone. The barrier is not down yet. So we, we do have our two minutes here. I can use the car again as long as it doesn't blow up. All right. So how about the hay? Okay. Yeah. Pushes the hay along. One shot. Very easy. I like it. Now for the freight train. The wall still isn't up. We've got time. Freight train. Ah. Uh, it does slow it down a little. What got? What the? What happened there? I had moved this. I made an opening and the train came back in and like took my area of escape out. Are you kidding me? The sarcophagus. I am out of. Oh. 
We're going to get as much speed as possible. I want to see how far this thing can get moved. We'll curb boost. There's no way. That means that there's only one choice left. The go-kart. I'm kidding. We're not using the go-kart. I'm going to use the go-kart to get over to the Cherno bog. All right. Now, normally... Huh? Okay, real quick. That was the first vehicle that did not get stopped by the sandcastles. Oh my god, driving this thing is kind of a pain, though. This thing's turn radius is about 800 feet. Wow! Okay, never mind. The Insurgent is garbage compared to this. I'm, just, I'm not even going to get any speed. Right through the water jugs. Awesome. Bowling pins? Blasted. Poppers does stop it a little bit. I assume the glass will stop it, too. The glass kind of stops everything. Well, it really barely stopped it. <laughs> oh, my God, the pumpkins. Oh, I feel so bad for them. Oh, yeah. Oh, right through the logs. Oh, my. Wow. It was like a nuke went off on the ammunition sign. I think this can do it. We have a real contender here. How about these pallets? Yeah. Just blast through them. Well, it's like a fence. These pallets also just blast through. So now the wooden boxes. Ah, uh, okay. It does slow it down a little bit, and they all break, which is very nice. Through, oh my god. It busted through two layers of the plywood in one shot. Uh, so this is embarrassing. The truck is caught inside of this plywood. I'm gonna have to redo this. Okay, don't do this to me again. There we go. Okay. That was a lot better. So how about this fence? The fence does stop it, but it also breaks in like one shot. Come on! Oh, I went over the fence. That was kind of weird. All right, the tombstones. Wow. Blasts through the tombstones. And there goes the shipping. Whoa. There goes the shipping container. Blast through the trailer. Blast through the hay trailer. Oh my God. They're gonna go ahead and ride this thing. Uh, it even goes through the, uh, the dark matter hay pretty quickly. Unfortunately, though, the wall is up. We didn't do it fast enough. This fence has been a pain. I'm not gonna... Oh, first try! That shaved off a lot of time. This is a big deal. I think we can make it. Hold on. Great tombstones. Plow through. Shipping container. Plow through. I basically am hoping... Oh, my God. I'm basically hoping that when we get... To the sarcophagus, it can get through it because I don't know how well this thing's gonna push them. Trailer, hay bales, good, yes, trade, blast the train, blast, and now the sarcophagus. Here we go, yeah, yes, we got it. Oh, wow. And literally, we had about two seconds. But two seconds is good enough. And that means that we have a winner. Well, I broke through the layers, and the layers broke through part of me. Anyway, folks, hope you just episode GTA. Until next time, stay foxy. Much love.